Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I did a video probably close to a year ago about this product that is a solar tracker, a portable solar tracker that's also affordable. And at that point, it was still kind of in the prototype phase and they were doing a crowdfunding campaign. It's from a company called Solar Pivot Power. And this is their P Solbot 200 watt solar kit. And it has changed a fair amount since I kind of introduced it. And they're not paying me to do this video. So technically it's a sponsored video because they did send me this equipment, uh, but they're, they're not paying me to promote this message at all. But what they wanted me to show you in this video is that there have been some changes. They are now um, out of the crowdfunding phase and they are now shipping this product in its final production form. And like I said, this is their 200 watt kit. And they're also giving me the ability to do a giveaway for you guys. So somebody can win one of these 200 watt solar pivot power tracker kits. And if you happen to win this thing, there's absolutely no cost. There's no cost for shipping, uh, nothing. It's completely free thanks to the sponsorship of the guys at Solar Pivot Power. But this thing is super easy to set up. Uh, they've actually done some enhancements on their mobile app as well. So I'm gonna just give you a quick recap of what the setup looks like. And then it's, it's really press a button that says start tracking and you walk away and forget about it. You can see it's got a little tiny solar panel on the top and that's what it uses to keep that, uh, that little motor running on the inside uh, in the control module there. And it'll keep it powered up and able to kind of shut itself up down into sleep mode overnight. It'll reset itself in the morning. It'll just start tracking again. Once you get this thing going, you don't really have to mess with it again. And if you've got something in the say, uh, 1000 watt hour to about 1500 watt hour power station, just one of these is gonna be enough to kind of get you all the way through the day and get that thing fully charged back up without having to interact with it in any way. You don't have to come out and move the panels around. You don't have to set it up again in the morning. Um, it does include stakes to stake it down. In fact, in this new version, they've actually got, got a couple of uh, eye hooks underneath to allow you to strap some weight to this if you want to, to give it even more stability. So they've made it so that it can withstand a pretty significant wind load if in fact you're trying to deploy this in say the high desert where it's you know, a, lot, a lot of gusty wind. So you could easily do that by staking it down and, and adding a little bit of weight to those little eye bolts so you can add some stability and keep this thing stable in uh, pretty gusty wind conditions. So as I mentioned, setup is really simple on this thing. Let's go take a look and see what that actually looks like. All right, let's talk about what this 200 watt tracker kit includes. So first of all, it includes this fiberglass semi-flexible 200 watt solar panel. And this panel, just for reference, is 54 inches long and approximately just under 31 inches wide. And it is, uh, like I said, fiberglass and quite flexible, I might add, as you can see. So that's the panel. And then as far as the actual tracker kit goes, it comes in this canvas case. Let's just talk about the parts here. First of all, you obviously have the tracker itself and these legs are extendable by a few inches to help you if you're on, uh, on non-level ground. And this is beefed up quite a bit compared to the uh, kind of the pre-release prototype version that I had the last time charge port type C is on the bottom and you can charge that with an included type C cable which is right here USB cable so you can charge this from any kind of USB charger at home and then of course you can charge it via this little solar panel here and I've already been using this I've actually had this thing running for multiple days and uh, it just kind of runs autonomously and then there are these uh, brackets for the solar panel so these will go in, if you have a solar panel that doesn't have handles like that 200 watt panel I just showed you, that flexible fiberglass one, these will basically give you something for this cross piece to connect into like that, and one on each end. So there are um, grommets on the corners of that solar panel, and you'll just attach the uh, solar panel to either end of this bracket, and there's one for each side, and then the one that goes down the middle. And then of course this is telescopic as well, so you can adjust it to whatever size you have. Now, if you happen to have a, uh, a panel that's got those integrated handles, like the foldable panels um, that are typical for usually a 100 watt solar panel, kind of the Jackery style with the uh, molded plastic handles, this bracket is really all you need. It'll fit right in there and you wouldn't even end up using this. This is really for um, panels that are the larger ones 
that don't have those integrated handles. And then they do also have these integrated uh, multi-headed MC4 connector cable. It's got an XT60 on the other end. It's got a DC55, looks like maybe a 25, DC7909, and an Anderson style. So it really covers the basis for pretty much all of the standard power stations out there, all the connectors that power stations use for DC inputs. And then they do ship it with some solar stakes and a couple of carabiners. So these, these stakes will allow you to stake the legs down and give it more high wind resistance. Now they have an enhanced kit here that's more of an anchor and it's got some cord and um, mini carabiners in there, I think. Yeah, mini carabiners. And these allow you to use those little eye bolts on the bottom of the unit that I mentioned before, these guys right here, that really add some weight and give this thing stability in the wind. So those are the pieces, parts. Let's go set this thing up. All right, now they do actually give you these little 3M uh, command strips here for, uh, for sticking the little mini solar panel, the supplemental solar panel to the larger solar panel. Now I'm gonna be moving this around a little bit, putting the brackets on, so I'm gonna attach this later but let's go ahead and set up the brackets. So we're gonna need one of these on either end, and then we have the cross piece. Now it's easiest to, to attach this in if the panel is face down on the grass. Now you just basically connect the thumb screws through the grommet holes and then tighten them down. If the solar panel you're attaching this to happens to be a slightly different size, you can adjust the little telescopic length of that pole accordingly. Pretty straightforward. One thing I do like about this is that once you get adjusted for the panel, at least with this 200 watt panel kit, these little, uh, these little support rods fit right in the bag without having to be uh, readjusted. So you don't have to readjust it every time you set it up. And by the way, the specs on this solar panel, this is a max power voltage, so VMP is 25 volts. The volts open circuit is 29.4 volts. Most power stations have a 30 volt max input for solar or greater, and this panel would be, would be fine for that. It has a short circuit current, by the way, of 8.4 amps, but most power stations uh, over the size of about 600 watts are gonna allow you to have more solar input than that. So this is actually very well suited from a specs standpoint. All right, now this little carriage rod here, you can basically snap this into one side and these things are uh, 3D printed, and they're printed with enough precision that they snap in nice and solid, and then you just lock it down. Now this is the part that attaches to the actual tracker. Now the tracker needs to be set up in the proper orientation. So basically when you turn on the mobile app, it gives you a series of help screens at the beginning, and it'll tell you that the little logo, which is this part right here, needs to face towards the west. That's probably a fair orientation for west. All right, when mounting the panel onto the tracker on the south facing side of this little connector, there's a little hole, and that corresponds to this little spring-loaded plunger there. So all you gotta do is basically hold that, make sure that that side is facing the south, and drop it into place, and it is mounted. Now let's go ahead and set up the uh, auxiliary panel that gives this thing power. You can attach this guy. And then the other end just runs into the bottom of the tracker like that. Now I can power the tracker on and it'll go through a little self-test. And at this point, probably be a good idea to go ahead and pull up the app you know, and this is what I was saying, it kind of walks you through and tells you to face the logo to the west and then gives you some pointers on, uh, on location because you have to give this thing permission to access your location and then you have to give it also permission to detect local devices in order to make that USB connection. Now once you do that, you'll get to that last screen. Now once it completes its little um, power up and stabilizes, it basically will make itself available to the app and you can select it under tracker selection. So if I just click on that, and really at this point, once it acquires my location, there's really nothing else I need to do except press start tracking. And you'll see it says tracking command sent, please exit the app. And now it's adjusting itself, which it didn't have to adjust very far. And now it's just gonna run. 
And all I've got to do is make the connection now using the MC4 connectors on the edge of the solar panel. I connect that to my power station and I am off to the races. And I literally, if I stake this down, I literally don't even have to worry about this for days if I don't want to. This is one of the things I really like about this is that I actually did run this and let it run autonomously for three solid days and it would run through its sequence. It would reset after the sun went down and wait until the morning and then begin tracking again. And because it's got this little solar panel, it never runs out of power. And I like the fact that I can get this up off the ground because if you're in long grass, which is often the case when you're camping, sometimes there's weeds around. It's hard to get the panel clear when you're even a folding panel that's on the ground. You always have weeds that are kind of creeping up on, on the solar cells and that impacts your, uh, your solar production. So getting it up off the ground like this is really super helpful. Now, in addition to getting the solar panel up off the ground and out of the tall grass, this is also actually a nice way to put your power station right under there and gets it out of the sun because the sun is always going to be coming from this direction on the face of the panel. And so it's just like a natural little carport for your power station. And guess what? That power station is also conveniently pretty weighty and would make a nice anchor if you want to use that anchor cord and mini carabiners that this package comes with to allow you to cinch that down and give it a little bit more stability and even pretty solid wind conditions. So that's pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are doing a giveaway on this 200 watt kit here, this tracker plus the 200 watt panel complements of the guys at Solar Pivot Power and uh, they agreed to sponsor that giveaway for me. It does um, require that you have a US-based shipping address though, so I apologize if you're not based in the US. The giveaway is only going to apply to US residents. And how do you, how do you actually sign up for a chance to win this? Well, basically, just like my other giveaways that I've done in the past, you have to leave a comment below this video and include the term solar pivot power. That's all one word with no spaces because that's the term that my random comment selector will be looking for to choose the winner. Feel free to be creative with your comments if you want, but it just has to include solar pivot power, all one word, and then that'll make you eligible to, uh, to win one of these kits, which is very cool. And we're going to be doing the drawing on uh, October 18th, so it should be Saturday morning, and I will announce that at 9 a.m. by with a community post um, with the winning randomly selected comment. Now, whenever I do these giveaways, I do want to point out to be on your guard. I don't see this as often as much as I used to a couple of years ago. I think YouTube is getting better about it, but there are scammers out there who will try to impersonate me and tell you, you know, with some kind of a weird text number, text back to this number or whatever. Um, that is not how this will work. I will reply to your winning comment directly. And you'll know that comment is from me and not some scammer because it'll look like this. This is uh, basically what a comment from me will look like. Notice my channel name is there represented with a little uh, rounded edge, kind of an oval highlight. On the other hand, scammers typically look like this. This is a disgusting parasite scammer guy. Do not fall for that. Ignore those responses or report them. But if it looks like this, well, then that is going to be for me and you can be confident. And all I'm going to do is ask you to, to give me your shipping information. And that's it. There's a, I'm not putting you on a mailing list. There's none of that. This is not some, you know, ploy to get your personal information. Just a straight up honest giveaway. So hopefully you found this product interesting. If you, if you want to go back and check and see more details about the advantages of a tracker, go watch that original video and I'll put a link in the video description below on this video so you can go see the longer version on the original uh, tracker that I did a few months back. And before I forget to mention it, the guys at Solar Pivot Power, I think are trying to blow out some other accessories like the, the multi-headed adapter cable and the solar stakes for uh, portable panels that they sell separately. Trying to blow some of that inventory out of their Amazon store and they've got some crazy sale prices on those. And I'll include links uh, and discounts codes for all of that stuff as well. Now, if you're interested in buying the Solar Tracker kit itself, this is normally going to sell for $4.99. However, for a very limited time, the guys at Solar Pivot Power did give me a coupon code that I can share with you. I wanna say it's gonna expire sometime around October 25th or so. I'll put that information below, but that is gonna get the price down to just $3.99. And that's probably the lowest price that you're gonna see on this thing. All right, hopefully you found this information helpful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video. I'd very much appreciate that. And uh, I do hope you'll come back and join me for the next one. Until then, have fun out there.